Olá a todos e bem-vindo. Today I would like to share with you 10 cool things about the Portuguese language. Mm. Portuguese evolved from vulgar Latin and was officially declared as a language in the year 1290. It's spoken pretty much all around the world. It's the official language of nine countries and has about 250 million native speakers. It's usually listed as the sixth most spoken language, but only about 4 to 5% of the speakers actually live in Portugal. The vast majority live in Brazil, but that means that if you would decide to learn the European variant, Portuguese people will be delighted, and Brazilians will ask you to give their gold back. Não sou brasileiro. Você é português, Portugal? Devolve o nosso ouro, velho. But in the end, both parties are gonna think that you're weird when you tell them you don't like football. Dois. Portuguese is not only the sixth most spoken language, it's also the second fastest growing language in the world, only behind the English. In the last 100 years, the amount of speakers have increased with about 297%. And that doesn't tell me much, but it sounds cool. Três. Since Portuguese is so widespread, there's a lot of different accents. Though most of them are quite similar to European Portuguese, the most widely spoken accent, Brazilian Portuguese, is the one that differs the most. It's usually seen as more open and melodic, whereas Portuguese from Portugal tends to be more closed and rather unintelligible. Quatro. Similarly to other Romance languages, you conjugate the verbs depending on the subject. What's interesting here is that, in most cases, you can completely remove the subject from the sentence. So that's one less word to think about. Though it's five more conjugations, plus the rest of them, so yeah, you need to worry about those instead. Cinco. Speaking of verbs, in Portuguese there are two verbs, which both mean to be. Ser and estar. Ser is a little bit more permanent, and estar, well, more temporary. Sometimes you can use either ser or estar in the same exact sentence, but it will convey a slightly different meaning. If I say, es linda, that means you're beautiful. From the moment you wake up to the moment you go to sleep, you're a beautiful human being in its essence. On the other hand, if I say, estás linda, that could kind of be interpreted as, you usually look like shit, but on this very day, in this specific moment, you look slightly less shit. Seis. If you speak Portuguese, you are somewhat able to understand other Romance languages, especially Galician and Spanish, but sometimes even languages like Romanian, Italian and French. So, why do you search for Portugal and then you speak French? Sete. <laughs> Portuguese has been influenced by Arabic. The reason for this being that much of the Iberian Peninsula was once under Muslim control. This mainly affected the vocabulary where there's about a thousand words of Arabic origin. Some may have fallen out of use, but there's still plenty of them around. Words like arroz, which means rice, and bairro, which means neighborhood. And even alfama, the name of the oldest neighborhood in Lisbon. And as a Swede, my personal favorite is obviously Almondegas. Meatballs. Oito. Portuguese also has some influence on English, where there's quite a few words of uh, Portuguese origin. Here you have words like embarrassing, coconut, fetish. Nove. Some of the coolest things about Portuguese, in my opinion, is in the pronunciation. And this part is going to be a little bit more specific to European Portuguese. But something I find interesting is that Portuguese actually has two R's. They have the rolling R and also the guttural R, the R sound. And there's a lot of nasal sounds. In other words, sounds that you create while letting air pass through your nose. An example could be to the bang, where the last syllable is a nasal sound. There is also something called closed vowels, and this, combined with the fact that Portuguese is a stress-timed language, makes it so that Portuguese people 
can read a sentence, take a deep look at all the vowels, and then go, you know what? I'm not gonna pronounce them. Excellent cholesterol. No, cholesterol excellent. There's. I'd like to end this by saying that Portuguese is an incredibly beautiful, expressive, and rich language. With words like saudade, which is like this deep, melancholic longing, and expressions like desenmerdate, which literally translates to unshit yourself. Quite poetic. Fin. If you learned something new in this video, please leave a like. And if you already knew everything on this list, then hey, we must share some similar interests. You should subscribe to the channel.